Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at finding the area of a figure. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this figure and talk about a couple ways to determine the area. So at first glance at this, you may or may not know that this is actually does have a name as what kind of a figure it is. Um, if you look at it, we've got two sides that are opposite and parallel. And I know that because both of these are 90 degree angles. So if those are 90 degree angles, then these sides have to be parallel, right? So that being said, if I've got two side lengths that are parallel and it's a four sided figure, this is a trapezoid. So it does, I know a lot of trapezoids tend to have another angled side this way, but this one has a, um, a perpendicular side perpendicular to both the, the base and the, the top and the bottom, both bases. So it is a trapezoid. So there is a formula for finding the area of a trapezoid, but a lot of students have a hard time memorizing that and normally don't necessarily memorize it. So we're going to do this problem as if we didn't recognize it was a trapezoid, or maybe we forgot how to find the area of a trapezoid. So if I look at this, I can take any figure, I can always cut it up. And so in this case, I'm going to cut this figure up like here. Right. If I draw that perpendicular line side length and cut that into two pieces, now what I have is I have a rectangle and a triangle. And that being 10, then this side over here would be 10. This being 15, then down here would be 15. And then now I've got my rectangle, right? So if I can look at this and say, well, the area of that rectangle is always, and areas of rectangles are always length, uh, times the width, or you could say base times the height, however you want to say it, base times height, length times width, they mean the same thing. So in this case, this length times width, base times height, either way, would be 10 times 15, right? So you have 10 times 15. So we end up with 150 as that area of the rectangle. Now I look at this other part of this shape, and if that's cut there, then this actually now here is a triangle. So I have with a triangle, to find the area of a triangle, area of any triangle is always, is always one half times the base times the height. So similar to a rectangle, but it's half of the area, right? Because a, a, a rectangle, or excuse me, a triangle is always a, a rectangle that has been cut in half. Some, some rectangle that has been cut in half is how we get triangles or some parallelogram that's been cut in half. Uh, so this is where we have this base times height. So I know the height here is 10. What's the base? So that length from there to there, well, if this length was 15 and the total from there to there, all the way across was 45. And that means I can do my subtraction, 45 minus 15. And I can see that this here would be 30, right? So that, that the length 15 plus 30 is that 45. So that being said, to do this, to do this question, I just need to do my math as far as plugging in. I'm going to have one half, right? One half times the base, which is 30 times the height, which is 10. Either one could be the base, could be the height, because it. what matters is they just come against each other and come up and cr create a 90 degree angle, a right angle. So multiplying that through, um, you can multiply one thing at a time. So one half times 30 is 15, and then times 10 is 150. Okay, so again, we have this area of 150 for the triangle. So my total area, so then the whole area, the area of the entire figure, right? The area of the whole figure would be those two added up. So that would be uh, 150 plus 150, which is equal to 300. And it doesn't say what the units are. So I tend to just, if they don't have units, general units, you would say units squared for area. There's, there's the, the, the method of finding the area, cutting the figure up. Now, just as a, 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 a place of learning, I did go in the beginning, told you this was a trapezoid. 
So the area of a trapezoid, if you've forgotten the formula or the process for finding the area of the trapezoid is taking the um, uh, one half times the um, height and then multiplying it that times the base one plus base two. Basically, it's they call them the bases because you could honestly take this figure and turn it upside down and any, any one of them can be bases. But it's basically those parallel sides. So it's adding the sum of those parallel sides, multiplying it by one half or by the height and also by one half. So let's let's figure that out here. So what did we have? We had one half. So the area of this thing as a trapezoid. So this is the area of a trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid. So one half, the height, right, is 10. And then the addition of the bases would be, the sum of the bases would be 15 plus that whole thing would be 45. So if I'm going to do the math with this, we'd end up with, uh, combining or doing the inside the parentheses first. So one half times 10 times in the parentheses, you get 60. So now it's uh, multiplying one thing at a time. One half of 10 is five and then five times 60 is 300. So I'm going to get the same answer. I still got 300 units squared, but I was able to just use the one formula, which was the area of the trapezoid. So either way, there you have it.